The Virginia Department of Transportation says it's ready to tackle the storm heading our way. They haven't made the call to send all the crews in just yet, but they will tomorrow. WHSB News 3 Stephanie Escobar joins us live from VDOT headquarters with details about the plan. John, I'm here at the headquarters of the VDOT Stanton District. As you can see, it's not very busy here right now, but they could go into a 24 hour mode. This would be that this would mean that would be open for 24 hours if we get hit by that storm. Right now, they're really just waiting for the weather, but they're ready for anything. Snowy roads, plows in full force. This is a picture that we haven't seen yet this year, but something the Virginia Department of Transportation is ready to handle. We're in really good shape. We're ready to go out and hit the snow running. VDOT Stanton District Communications Manager Sandy Meyer says they have around 970 vehicles to clean up the roads. They also have private contractors like Commonwealth Excavating helping them. We'll be running out of here about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, they make the call when we go out on the interstate, uh, so we're getting everything prepped and ready to go. Uh, just can't be late. Owner Ira Biggs is calling 25 more employees to work. Meyer says they usually have crews watching the roads even before the storm starts. The main thing is to get ahead of the storm, to try to be out on the road when the weather begins to hit. If you get that inch or two already out there, then it's a little bit more difficult. She says local offices administrators handling snow removal will make the call if they need more crews out. Meyer says it's not really about inches of snowfall. It's mostly about pavement temperature. Once you get the below that 32 degree mark, then the snow is going to start sticking to the roads. Mm -hmm. And if they haven't been plowed or treated, then obviously it's, it's going to be a little more slick. So pavement temperature really determines a lot of, of what we do. If the storm sticks around, that would mean VDOT will work nonstop. The crews um, obviously are going to be going into those 24-hour shifts uh, probably once the storm starts, and then we'll keep on until we do have the roads cleared. Meyer says if they do go into that 24-hour mode, all roads should be clear within 48 hours. They will start with the interstate and the most highly traveled roads, and then after that, they will go ahead and clear the neighborhoods. Live in Stanton, Stephanie Escobar, WHSV News 3.